Hey, what's up? In this video, I'll show you how I created a charge controller for my high voltage power supply using an Arduino and a ZVS driver with a flyback transformer. It is easy to create a high voltage power supply using a ZVS driver and a 1001 transformer. And if you add a voltage multiplier, you can actually get upwards of 100,000 volts. Changing the input voltage to the driver can vary the high voltage output, but you have very little controllability of the voltage that you're going to get out. And so I would like to have a way to control it at lower voltages and uh, have it to charge my high voltage power supply. I'm starting to work on more riskier experiments that can possibly produce a ton of x-rays. And so probably it's not a good idea for me to be in the same room as the experiment is operating. So I would like to build a high voltage power controller to charge my capacitor bank remotely and I could turn it on and off from that remote area. For the brains of the circuit, I am using a Arduino Mini to control the input voltage of the ZVS driver using a logic level MOSFET. The logic level MOSFET means that I can control the gate using a minimum of two volts and it's perfect for the Arduino and the ESP8266 microcontrollers. The potentiometer will be used to set the charge voltage and it will be displayed on a OLED display using the I2C interface. The ESP8266 has a faster response time compared to the Arduino and does not need a large capacitor load on the output to accurately control the high voltage, meaning the ESP can be controlled um, with a 0.15 microfarad capacitor and the Arduino is controllable with a 500 microfarad capacitor. It might be capable of going down to 100 microfarads, but I haven't tested it yet. I've already tried the Arduino with the 0.1 microfarad capacitor and it immediately passed the threshold voltage of the voltmeter I was using to display and it completely destroyed it and now I had to switch to my backup for the remaining of the test. To read the voltage on the Arduino, I'm using a voltage divider with the R1 value being 70 mega ohms and the R2 value at 35 kilo ohms. This gives a ratio of about 2060 uh, per volt. And so the maximum voltage I could get using the ESP8266 is around 6,000 volts and the maximum for the Arduino is around 10,000 volts. On the display, I have the controlled input with the potentiometer and the actual voltage from the voltage divider. To demonstrate how this works, I will charge this to about 100 volts on the controller. As you can see, the capacitor is charging very slowly. Um, it's slow enough for the Arduino to register it and control the MOSFET accordingly. Now I'm going to charge the capacitor to a maximum of 500 volts. This is the maximum on the voltmeter, but this is capable of going up to 900 volts for the capacitor bank configuration I have currently. And I have not tested this yet with the massive capacitor bank yet, but that will be in the next video. I got too ahead of myself on making this that I forgot to put a circuit into discharge capacitor safely. So. Here's a circuit for those who's interested. Uh, you need two different power supplies, one 12 volt and one five volt separate. Um, I tried using the 12 volt power supply and stepping that down with a buck converter, but it caused the circuit to not work properly once the um, switch was activated. So having two, two separate power supplies makes the circuit work. In order to control this really, I would need a simple negative feedback loop with the MOSFET being the controller and the potentiometer being the sensor. And here's the code that I used. Again, this can be optimized. With the idea of keeping this as cheap as possible, I use the extremely safe dollar store containers and hot glue. Um, there are two separate sections, a low voltage section and a high voltage sections for the uh, different components. And the display is on top in an awkward position because I didn't make the wires long enough to put it on the clear plastic and have it um, viewable. Thanks for watching.